Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jansen here and in today's video, we're going to be covering the essential free tool that so many people either ignore or don't know how to use when it's absolutely amazing. It's gonna save you so much time when it comes to product research and also just making your own purchasing decisions on Amazon. So without further ado, let's jump into the computer and walk through exactly what it is. Okay, so we're on amazon.co.uk and what we're gonna do is just type in the word posture corrector. Just let's say, for example, we were researching that product to sell and straight away you can see this like additional few lines of information. And this information is being provided by Helium 10. Now, if you've been researching Amazon FBA for a while now, you will probably have heard of Helium 10. But did you know that the Chrome extension is free and there are many features within that Chrome extension that are completely free as well? And they are honestly essential at basically reducing the amount of time of analyzing data within Amazon. It's going to make your product research process so much more efficient. So um, let's just go back to these um, lines of information here. Why is this helpful? Why is it in, you know, informative to have? Well, one of the um, ways that Amazon works or the piece of information that Amazon displays uh, to interpret sales figures is something known as the best seller rank. And the best seller rank works very much like a music chart. So the lower your position in that chart, i.e. if you're position one, the more sales that you are going to have. Now, Helium 10, uh, with this Chrome extension, the plugin, it will display to you what the bestseller rank is on the home page. So very, very quickly, we can see which products on a search result are selling more than others. So just for an example, um, ignoring this be bestseller badge here, you can see that this product is number eight in health and personal care, number one in back braces, which is its um, category, and number one um, in well-being, which is another subcategory. So straight away, we know, ignoring that be bestseller ranking, that this product is outselling, say, this one here, which has a bestseller ranking of 2,000. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is that helpful? It's just helpful to basically give you a very quick understanding of who the top sellers are, which will indicate who has the most optimized listing, who has the best listing, who has you know plenty of reviews for you to look through, and so on. So immediately, if we were wanting to look at you know this niche or popular sellers in a bit more detail, we know that it's going to be this one here, which is number eight. It's going to be this one here, number 139. Um, this one here is 913, which is outselling this one. So, you know, straight away, we've got a very quick understanding of which listings we should be looking at in more detail to get good ideas for ways to improve our own product and our own listing. So let's now just click into the listing because that's not actually the main thing that I wanted to show you. The main useful part of this free tool is this chart here. And this chart will only appear if you have the Helium 10 Chrome extension. So I will put a link for that in the description of this video. Um, but this is the tool really that a lot of people ignore. And I think it's plainly because they are either don't understand it or they don't know what it is. So I'm gonna to explain to you now exactly what it is. So by the end of this video, you're gonna be like, I can't believe I ever even ignored that chart. So this chart here at the moment is currently showing us two things over a 30 day period. It's showing in the red line, the best seller rank over time. And it's showing in the blue line, the price of the product over time. So you remember from the beginning of the video, I said this tool was helpful, whether you're a seller or whether you're making a purchasing decision. Well, this is helpful as a purchaser if you're looking to buy something on Amazon because you can see what the price trend has been over time. So let's say, for example, I was looking to buy this posture corrector. It's priced at £9.90, and you can see that on the chart here. And if I was looking to buy it, I might be like, well, that's actually a really good deal because it's £9.90 now, but last week it was £16.98. So if I'm thinking about buying this, I should buy it now. And that's also helpful if you're doing product research. So say, for example, you were thinking of selling this product. If you looked last week and it was priced at 17 pounds and you're thinking, great, I'm gonna be able to sell this product the exact same for 17 pounds as well. Think how gutted you'd be 
if you hadn't looked at the like sales price over time and seen that just a few days prior to that, the, the same product was priced at eleven pounds seventy nine, and you know even three weeks before that it was priced at ten pounds ten. So that's giving you a real good insight into what price you could realistically charge for your product. And um, you know it seems to me just from looking at this very quickly that that seventeen pounds was only charged for about two days. So if you'd had looked at this product on either of those two days and just said, great, I'm going to charge £17, jobs are good and I'm ordering the product, you may have found yourself in a bit of a sticky situation because you'd have like hadn't you'd have ignored any of the previous information here that shows that actually the seller's got you know evidence of reducing the price quite significantly below that £17 price point. So if we now just click into, uh, let's go into all time. Um, yep, you can kind of, again, see the price trend here. And look at that, that's amazing. It used to be £22. And what um, is really helpful to see here is that this seller, when they very first launched, was priced at £9.99, which basically indicates that their launch strategy was just get a low price, start selling, and then gradually increase it. And we can see it started off at £9.99 here, and then basically, bam, increased it to £12.99, increased it to £14.99, that reduced a bit, and then gradually over time, you can just see they've increased it all the way to £22. And then I guess as the niche has become more saturated, or maybe they're just trying to you know, get more sales so they can increase their organic rank, they've then reduced the price again. So you can see how helpful that is. Now, what else is really helpful is um, to look at is the best seller rank, because as I mentioned, that gives you an indicator of how well a product or products within a niche are selling. So it's not particularly helpful here on all time because you can see that this rank has been exceptional. Number one, for quite a while, which means that their sales are going to have been insane. But what you can do is just simply click and drag like that and you'll zoom in to a certain period. So we can see here that the sales rank for this product have been bouncing around like 100 to about 400. And then all of a sudden, they must have got like ranked for more keywords on page one. Look at that, bam, the um, the bestseller rank has fallen down to 100 and then kind of stays a lot like range bound between 100 and 200 from there on in. So that's really insightful. Again, just for when deciding your own launch strategy um, or just basically wanting to understand how sales in a niche are varying over time. Um, and then, you know, again, like generally when um, you're look, tracking a product, looking at its sales, it's really important that you track sales over time. And this chart is going to help you to understand whether, you know, a product is seasonal or whether, you know, its sales are like quite volatile. And purely you can do that just by examining the bestseller rank over time. So we can see here that, I mean, the bestseller rank is being pretty flat, hasn't it? If we look at the last 30 days, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think this is the best product to be looking at. Let's look at a competitor purely because this one has just been smashing it so much. Let's look at this one here that's ranked 2000. Um, so let's just have a look at the bestseller rank over time for this one. It might indicate a bit more of an interesting pattern. So yeah, look at this. You can see that at the moment, this seller has a bestseller rank of around 2200. But prior to that, so if we look kind of end of October, the bestseller rank was, you know, 500, 500 to 600 amount, which indicates to me that maybe this um, seller was doing more advertising or was doing a giveaway of some sort. But the conclusion that you can make from this is that if you had done your tracking here, if you had run Helium 10 or Jungle Scout, AMZ Scout, whoever, on this date here, the estimated sales would have been a lot higher then had you run the tool here, okay? Because the estimated sales are based on the sales rank, the best seller ranking. So that is why it's really important that you use this tool to understand whether the sales estimate that you've just been given by Helium 10 or whoever is going to be accurate. Ideally, you want to be running these sales, these um, Chrome extensions on a consistent basis. So running it every day and then looking you know, over a period of time to get the actual average amount of sales. If you had just run it here when it, the ranking was 592, you would have been given a much higher sales estimate than if you had just run it here. 
And you know, it's only because of this free tool here that we, un that we understand that the bestseller ranking has changed quite a bit in the last few weeks. Now, one additional piece of analysis that you can use this tool for is to understand whether a product is seasonal or not, because um, it's important that we don't sell seasonal products um, unless we actually understand that it's seasonal, purely because if we're gonna be running a business, we want that income stream that it provides to be full time and we're getting you know cash flows every single month. So um, it's important that you understand that the product that you're selling isn't seasonal, unless you want it to be, of course. And I'm gonna show you how this tool here can help you understand that. And what better example to use than a Christmas tree, right? We know that Christmas trees are seasonal. They're only bought really in the fourth quarter of the year. Um, but I just wanna use that as an example because you guys obviously know that it's seasonal. So look at this, here's this the um, tool again. And we can see that in October time, the sales ranking was, you know, the bestseller ranking was around 3,000. And then as we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, the bestseller ranking is reducing and reducing, which means that sales are increasing and increasing. And, you know, the seller obviously knows that because look, in October, the price of a Christmas tree was 27 pounds and the price now is 39 pounds. So what does that tell you? It tells you if you're gonna buy a Christmas tree, buy it prior to October. Just to kind of uh, show this trend even more so, let's have a look at 90, the 90-day pattern. I mean, you can't get more obvious than that, can you? you? You know, in around August time, the ranking is like in the 100,000 areas. And then gradually, as we get into the fourth quarter of the year, into September, October, November, that search ranking goes down and down and down, and the price goes up and up and up. Um, now, one thing that I haven't actually mentioned is here, where the blue line just disappears, that quite simply just indicates that the seller is out of stock. Um, so I'm hoping now, I mean, you can look at that again, like what kind of happens after December, can't you? The end of December, the ranking just climbs and climbs and climbs. Although I guess that is because they're out of stock there. Um, but in any case, they're in stock here and you can see that that ranking is still sky high. Um, so I'm hoping now guys that you understand just how useful that tool is. And honestly, believe me when I say the information that you're being provided there for free is amazing. There's another company out there called Keeper um, that provides the exact same information, but they actually charge for it. And when they started to charge for it, it was about 18 months ago now, I was gutted because I was like, that information there is so useful. So when I saw that Helium 10 provides it for free, you only need a, an account and you can just get one of those like completely for free. Um, I was blown away. So make sure you use this tool, not just for when doing your product research to understand whether you know, a niche is seasonal or, or whatnot, um, but also for when making your own purchasing decisions. So I'll put a link in the description below so that you can download um, Helium 10. Uh, you can get a Helium 10 account if you don't have one and you can download the Helium 10 Chrome extension um, if you don't already have, have that either. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please remember to give me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Amazon FBA content. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you next time.